look at these people from, you say from where? From Ohio. From Ohio. These people. They are from Ohio. Not every park, Ohio. Enjoy. You are from where? Ohio. Ohio. Did you hear these people from Ohio? How many flights you took to come here, Mama? Two. <laughs> Two flights. You took from Ohio to? So we did Ohio to Michigan, Detroit. To Michigan, Detroit, Chicago. From Ohio, they took a flight to Michigan, Detroit. And from Detroit, you fly how many hours to come here? So we went to Amsterdam. You went to Amsterdam. Yes. In other words, from Ohio to Michigan, from Michigan to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to here. Because these people here, you took three flights. Yes. Three flights to come here. I want to give you an example of what I'm saying. Okay, you can go, you can go places. Why I'm saying this thing? When we were in Chicago, they came to see us there, one on one, this way. And they've been f following us. Last time you came where? To Texas. You came to Texas in uh -huh. Dallas. Uh -huh. And then Chicago. Chicago. And we saw you in California. Also in California. Yes. And well, I saw you in Colorado. Yes. Also in Colorado, yes. yes. I went to Colorado. Yes. Can I hear the names that I've been mentioned here? You say you came. Uh, um, listen, About the I husband. Okay, the husband. Um, Denver, Colorado. He, he came to Denver, Colorado. Yes. And uh, she came to California, Los Angeles. And she came to California, yes. yes. And uh, Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And uh, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Yes. You can hear that. But these people, after we met them in Chicago, Chicago, Mama, for us to go to Chicago was not easy. We have to take a flight from Atlanta, Georgia. Understand? We flew there. Is that time when I told you that I'm nine hours away from home? Nine hours away when you are in Chicago. They came to Chicago when we were there. They came to California when we were there. For another time, we came to uh, Texas, Dallas, and also Denver, Colorado. It's very far. Denver is very far, to be honest. This world of ours is very big, if you can see where they come from. But look at these people. After meeting them one on one, God bless them. And they come here and say, we are coming here just to thank God. Think about this thing. They're flying from, you, you came to do what? To, to just to thank God. Just to thank God. I know you, you've got a lot of testimonies. You can't meet us. You remain empty. It's no person. Hmm? I'm sure you've got a lot of testimonies. Huh? Yes. Can you hear that? There's no way. You know, because we teach you when you meet people like us, Jesus first. Jesus, what? First. First. Jesus first. Jesus first. And everything with Jesus is possible. Jesus. Jesus. This man, I'm for you. Oh. 
got a contract of 20 units. 20. Yes. 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 I'm a millionaire now. So you see what prayer does. Yes. That's why they are following us. Because of the testimonies. Yes. This one. I met her in California for the first time. I said to her, I see you going to school. And at that time, things were very difficult. I could not do anything. After I told her, she went to school, she graduated. She got more money, she made so much money. She made so much money, you much money. <laughs> yeah, Adam. Eh? Yeah. When I was in Chicago, you came to Chicago. Was it Chicago? Yeah, yeah recently it was Chicago. Yeah, she, they came to Chicago. She came with a letter. Yes. The way it was difficult for her to study. Very difficult. Yes, that was in California. In, yeah, it, it was in California. Yes. Just after Chicago. prayer, man, everything opened up. Yes. yes, yes. They said, ah, now you can come. Just after we prayed for from there, I told her oh, it would be simple. You study and finish. But it was not like that before they met us. Yes, so yes. now, I say she's making a lot of money. It's not me. It's me. It's me. Him telling me. This is to tell you what Jesus can do. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. Come, my brother. Stand up, my sister. We're getting. Uh, only make you dirty again. <laughs> Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. You're free, my girl. You're free. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. So what's your name? Faith. Faith. And what is your name? Huh? Christian. How old are you? Eleven. What grade are you? Fifth. So you don't know which grade you're doing? <laughs> he just finished school fifth, he's going to sixth. Oh, okay. In Jesus' name. Thank you for protecting these children. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Praise you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for protection. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Mama. Uh, thank you. Um, my name is Christian Shirichane, and this is my wife, uh, Kiki Okudzai Shirichane. Uh, we're coming from Columbus, Ohio, that's in the United States. And uh, we're just happy to be here. Uh, for a long time, we've been wanting to come in person because we've been with Charis for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've met uh, both uh, men of God, the, the Apostle and uh, Prophet Andres, mm -hmm. they've spoken into our lives so much. Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, yes, and uh, we've had breakthroughs, but we've also had challenges. Uh, people think just because a uh, word is spoken, is spoken, then everything is like red carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, but to be honest, once a word is spoken, Satan will fight it, right? But no matter how much Satan fights you, uh, what the Word of God says will stand. Mm -hmm. See, that's the difference uh, between the true, the real thing and uh, the chaff, right? The real thing has to be tested, proven, and then it becomes true because we've come a long way with them. The challenges have been different <laughs> each season, something else. But uh, I'll, I'll speak a, a little bit. So, um, uh, when I first met the man of God, when he first came to the USA, back then our lives were in shambles, you know. Yes, we were spirit-filled. We had just started following Jesus truthfully. Um, we were doing everything to read the Bible, but we, we did not yet have tangible breakthroughs, you know. Um, and uh, I remember the first time Apostle said uh, he sees that I'm a destiny's child, you know, that, that, and I, I took that word and, and then our lives started to change. Um, uh, back then poverty was a serious problem mm -hmm. and, uh, and then God started building us. Uh, our finances, getting the businesses started 
and um and then not only that my my wife my kids right uh, our, our, i mean to me the biggest challenge was my household sickness left right and center <laughs> If you can t- think of it, I can tell, describe the symptoms, <laughs> mm-hmm. and um, and so so as God started to to build us, uh, I mean, God would plug one thing, build us up, open a door, no matter how Satan fought us, and um, a- as the years uh, have gone by, it's been a snowball. The snowball is gaining strength. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I look nowadays, I couldn't do the things that are happening around me nowadays uh, the the strength and ability just was not there uh, you know not even the grace to do it mm-hmm. right but uh, I, I i can i mean it's it's amazing what god is doing it's amazing what god has begun and um and uh, i i'm very humbled yes mm-hmm. so um today uh, the man god started speaking uh, what what I love is he's very consistent. He, he may not realize it, but it, it's a theme he started years ago, <laughs> and and he just adds to it. Uh, I remember years ago when he told when he was telling me, you know, I just started businesses. Then he told me, I can see they're fighting you everywhere, right? And he's like, tell me to do, do, do not stop, do not quit. And at that time, oh my God, <laughs> talk about trials. You, you they, I mean. The, the word can come, start a business, but oh, the trials and the challenges, they were beyond human strength. Many a time wanted to quit, wanted to stop. And then last time he, he came to Chicago, uh, he said, um, well, I, I see this man doing real estate, buying, buying, buying. And, and it's amazing. We're talking about eight months now. I mean, I've just been buying and buying and buying. <laughs> so, so today he was telling me that God is going to do even more. <laughs> you know, you're he, saying he's seeing 20 more units, and uh, I'm going to keep buying. <laughs> you know, and uh, and then also uh, regarding my wife, years ago, when we were talking six, seven years ago, she was failing to do school. You know, not because. She's, I mean, we live in America, <laughs> but if the conditions do not line up to make it happen, it's not possible. The resources can be available, yet it's not possible. So he was he was talking uh, today, just to explain to her that uh, as she does more school, there's going to be more opportunities. But what I want to say, years back, he told her she was going to be able to do school when she couldn't, right? Mm-hmm. Then he came on again, over the years, he hopped on the same thing, school. And my wife kept doing school, you know, graduating, getting better jobs, getting promoted, making more money. And, uh, and this time, uh, what he said is that uh, she's going to get a, a position that influences government. Right. You, you know, and I, I can see it because she's been talking about law school, law school. And, and I can see how exactly how that's all going to play out. Right. And um, so so we remind him what he said in the past. Right. And, and it's as if he's building from where he left off. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So we, we're just grateful for that. Yes. So that was all. OK, so during the one on one, the man of God, I remember this, he talked about he asked me what's going on here um, and he asked me if I had an operation before um, and we have two kids and we both of them I had the c-section they had to um, do cesarean section for both kids um, and then he said um, you know what does it feel like and I told him like I just feel you know where it's like seasonal and he mentioned it before I said it that when it's cold I feel like some sensation which was true and he said that it's also affecting starting to affect my back and that's when I I said oh that is very true because I always ask him to massage my back Um, and then he said yeah the enemy was trying to um, bring that on that sickness of my back Um, but you know he prayed for me and I believe that everything is done and I'm healed Um, then he talked about school Um, he remembered that I couldn't go to school Um, he said um, I should continue I can continue going to school um, and as I continue God will open up more opportunities for me oh I I feel very blessed 
and I, I feel vindicated, you know, because uh, you want affirmation that what you're seeing is correct. Uh, you know, it's sometimes, you know, you don't know whether you're doing too much, right? When it comes to business, or maybe you need to scale down. But uh, he, he's telling me God is going to do my, much, much more, and and I and I should get ready because much, much more is coming. So uh, this is what I want to say to you. Believe the word of God. Believe even when you don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Believe if even you're in the midst of challenges. Keep believing, right? Uh, when God is at work, he's working at transformation, right? The manifestation starts, but that's not the end, right? That word of prophecy will carry you and keep go you going, right? Uh, our challenge is we don't see things the way we think we should see them, and then we think God is not working. But God is always working. Yes. Uh, the same thing you said, just believe in God um, and, you know, just look up to Jesus. He's the one that will make everything manifest. Come, this children. I want to lay my hands on them. That's it. Uh, I want to increase the knowledge. You cannot worry about this children. Increase knowledge to you. In the name of Jesus, this will be true. This will be true. Jesus, become very people. But I want to sit down with you. This testimony is going to increase. Right now, there's a great reward. You also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle this morning one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, so we saw Apostle this morning um, and um, he was confirming, he mentioned that he sees uh, a breakthrough, a financial breakthrough. Um, which I confirm I just got a promotion not too long ago and it was a big it was a big promotion that came with increase um, so, and then he said that he does see a second breakthrough that's coming um, and to expect that um, and then yeah yes and um, he also mentioned that the blessing is also spilling over on my side the biggest thing is since we last saw him in Columbus, I mean in uh, Chicago, uh, the biggest thing is that our businesses have started to expand big time. And, uh, and we're seeing it, and it's not just one testimony, it's a lot of testimonies. But truly, yes, there's big financial breakthrough. He also gave us direction. Uh, he said, um, right now, uh, God is expanding our businesses and uh, that will provide a, uh, a financial foothold for the future when we go about different places doing God's work mm -hmm. and so that we will have the financial backing. That the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Oh, wow. <laughs> the grace of God is, uh, is awesome. Um, we can't even put it in words. I just thank God for the opportunity. It's definitely a testimony. Um, and I'm just, just expecting to see what God's going to do next. Amen. And how do you feel, sir? Um, it, it's amazing. God has been very good to us. Um, Jesus. And it's true. The, Jesus. The grace we Jesus. see, is, uh, the blessings are expanding. Mm -hmm. But more than that, we, we just Jesus. love Charis. We love the man of God. We love everything God is doing Jesus. for us.